hello youtube welcome back to another video my name is Tunde victor and in this video i'm going to be explaining micro dodge and burn and how to use it and i believe before the end of this video you understand everything you need to know about micro dodge and burn and how to use it on your image so let's get started so in my previous video i did um, a tutorial on how to and how to remove blemishes and um so these are before and um these are after as you can see i've taken out the blemishes so if you want to learn how i took out the blemishes for this image make sure to go watch that video i'll be leaving the card up here and also go and check the description below you are going to send the link to that video so to do your micro dodge and burn first of all let me explain what dodge and burn simply means so the dodge simply means to brighten and burn simply means to darken so basically what we are going to be doing for this image right now we are going to be um dodging the um dark part of the image and we're going to be burning the bright side the bright part of the image so we are just going to shape how light falls on the subject to, to give the image that smooth transition so that's what we are going to be using the micro dodge bun to do and to give the image that smooth look and make the image look unnatural and beautiful so uh if you saw this image online the one i posted on facebook and instagram i actually use micro dodge bone to retouch the image i did not use frequency separation to retouch the image so i'm going to be showing you how i do that right now let me just quickly show you a practical of what i just explained so i'm just going to come to my retouching academy and create and just click on my um dodge bone course and i'm going to show you how to create um dodge bone course even without this retouching academy so i'm just going to delete this visual aid for now so for the um dodge bone curves i'm just going to um make sure your uh, foreground color is set to white because the um mask is on black and i'm going to explain that as well i'm just i just quickly want to show you example so for my uh i just pick my brush too so once i'm my dodge uh like this once i click on this dark place like this you can see they are getting brighter and once i click on this um bright place you can see they are getting darker like that so you can see this place are getting darker so this is the before and this is the after so basically that is what uh micro dodge bond is so that's how it works basically so let me show you how i did my micro dodge bond when touching this image before so first of all you have to create a visual aid so it can enable you see where to dodge and where to bomb better because if you're just looking at the image like this you might not see where to dodge and where to bomb and at the end of the day the image is not going to look as good as you want so the first thing you're going to do come to this your uh, um, layer um tab right here and create a new empty layer so once you create a new empty layer come to your menu bar right here and click on edit and click on fill and click on um 50 percent gray so make sure you fill it with 50 percent gray and click on ok so after that just duplicate your layer by clicking on ctrl j to duplicate your layer and you can rename this one um color and you can rename this one light and come to your color change your blend mode to color and come to your light change it to luminosity so once i turn off my luminosity you are going to see i have just um black and white right here and once i turn off my color you can see i have the colors on the image right now so that's that for the check layer so next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to turn off this my light so that we are going to see the image as black and white like this so you can see the dark parts are now visible and the bright parts are now visible and to make this a little bit more visible all you have to do is come to your adjustment layer and create a curves adjustment layer and just drag this um shadow parts down like this a little bit and drag it from this side as well down a little bit until you feel the image is getting darker and you feel it's okay like that and you can work with it like that so just continue doing it so like this i feel it's okay let me see okay it's okay like this so right now i can i can see where to dodge and where to burn and after that i'll come to my adjustment layer again create a levels adjustment layer and just drag this mid tones right here which is this one in the middle right here drag it to this side like this to make it even more darker so i feel it's okay like this now i can see the dark part of the image and i can see the bright part of the image so after that i'm just going to group them like this so i'll select my levels hold shift and click on my color right here which is this one right here the first one i click on ctrl g to group and i can just um rename this group visual aid like that so this is what we have in the group we have levels we have curves 
and we have lights which is turned off so if you turn it on you are not, you are not going to be seeing anything on the screen so make sure this your light layer is turned off so after that now that we have our check layer what we are going to do right now we're going to be creating a dodge and bomb so to create a dodge and bomb just come to your adjustment layer again if you don't if you don't have this adjustment layer up here you can come to this adjustment right here and click on your curves so make sure you click on your curves adjustment layer and just drag it from the middle all the way down like this and we are going to call this one bun so just rename it bun and i'm going to create another curves adjustment layer again and this time we just drag it all the way up like this and we we'll rename it and call it dodge So after that, I'm just going to invert this my dodge and bomb which I just created. So I'll come to my um, layer mask right here, click on Ctrl I to invert. I'll come to my bone again, do the same thing, Ctrl I to invert. So once I invert it, I'll just turn off this my visual aid off. So let me show you what it is. So you can see the image is looking normal. So if I turn my visual aid on, you can see the image is looking black and white. So right now I've created our dodge and bomb, and like I said earlier, dodge means brightening. That's why we um, took the brightness up white bond means to darken that's why we brought the curves adjustment all the way down so dodge is to um bright bond is to darken so just pay attention to this video because i'm explaining it as simple as possible so after we've created our dodge and bond curves we can just um group them you know how to group hold, sh hold shift or control and click on your uh, once your dodge is selected or any layer you want to group is selected hold control click on the ones you want to group all of them together and just click on control g to group so once you group it you can just rename it dodge and bone so after that after i've renamed it so i know i have my dodge and bone layer right right here so after that i'll just pick my normal brush tool once i pick my normal brush tool make sure your foreground color is set to um default um black and white if you have any other color right here like let's say we have red right here all you have to do is click on this black and white icon right here to change it to default black and white and also, since my um, layer mask is on black, I'm going to be using a clean white brush. Because if I just paint with black like this, with my normal brush too, and I paint with black, nothing is going to happen because my layer mask is on black, so nothing is going to happen. But if I change it to white by clicking on X or your keyboard or this icon right here, I change it to white and I paint, you can see what's happening to the skin. It's, it's, it's becoming visible because i'm using a white brush to paint on the skin or to paint on the image like that so i'm just going to delete that or rather i use my um, black brush to paint again so if i use my black brush to paint you can see i'm hiding that effect why if i use my white brush i'm bringing those effects so i'm just going to hide them because that's not what i'm going to be doing but i just want to explain why you are, why you should use a white brush instead of um a black brush because black brush will not, is not going to show anything on the mask so just switch to your white brush and just uh you can use x to switch to black and white or use your echo right here to switch between white and black so once your brush is on um white brush you come to your flow make sure your flow is on one percent and this is because if it's 100 percent and i try to uh, make this part a little bit brighter you can see it's just making it all bright instead of just a um, we just need the subtle effect, not this uh, more um, obvious effect. So that's why you have to reduce your flow to 1%. So you just reduce it to 1%. And um, the more you brush, the more that place become, becomes bright. So if you brush it um, 100 times, it's going to become uh, 100. So just um, make sure your flow is um, set to 1 and just brush it as many times as possible until you feel it's looking even. So I'm just going to erase that okay after picking my normal brush tool make sure my foreground color is on white and i've reduced my flow to one percent i'm just going to turn on my visual aid back on and once i turn on my visual aid back on those parts that are dark as you can see that you can see right now on the image are the dark parts of the image and you want to make it look even and those pieces that are too bright are the bright parts of the image and you want to use you want to make your you just want to make it look even so what i'm going to be doing right now I'm going to be using my white brush to paint on the dark parts of the image to make it look even to the um, colors that, that are there. 
or the colors that surround it and i'm going to make um the dark part of the image look a little bit bright to match the colors that are there before so let me just use this um place right here this down of my eyes right here to do a typical example so i'm just going to pick um create a new layer i just i'm just going to show you examples i'm just going to create a new layer pick a black brush and just um show you something bring my uh, flow back to 100 and just circle this part right here okay so as you can see this part right here i want to make it look even as this part as this part right here let me choose another color as this part so i want to make it even as this part right here okay so to do that i'll just pick my um white brush pick my white brush and bring down my flow to one percent turn on my visual aid come to my dodge and just paint on this part of our eyes right here like this so keep painting until you feel it's okay and you feel the skins are looking even or the colors right there are looking even so just paint with your brush like that keep painting until you feel it's okay and they are looking the same okay i think it's okay like this so i'm just going to turn off my visual aid um off so you can see the before and after so this is the before what you just did you can see how dark it was before and um this is the after this is the before and this is the after you can see it's matching with these colors that are there so let me just delete this layer which i added so you can see okay before and after so you can see how they are matching right now so if you look at this um places right here like this this place and um this place you can see they are matching right now so this is the before it, you see can you see this place is dark and um this is the after you can see this place is bright right now so basically that's how you do um micro dodge and burn so that's how you get a smooth even um, natural skin retouching after you finish retouch your image so make sure your opacity is set to one again so because i was explaining that's why i was changing it to 101 so make sure it's set to one if you want to do it so once it's set to one just paint on any place you feel should match the colors that are there it's not composed that it must be this eyes uh place but basically just paint on any place you feel it should be brighter so i feel this place right here should be brighter so i'm just going to paint on it and the reason why i'm, I'm able to see it is because i turn my visual aid on if i turn it off i won't know where, to, where i won't know where to dodge or where to burn because i'll not be seeing it very well so make sure you on your visual aid it's very important so basically that is what i'm going to be doing for the whole of this image i'm just going to do um a few parts of the image so you can see um how it works and you can see the effect and also i'm going to be showing the final results after i finish doing it and um, the only downside of this dodge and burn is that it takes a whole lot of time like it can take you 30 minutes to do dodge and burn whereas frequent separation just take you a few minutes and you're done with frequent separation but for me i think this dodge and burn gives the best results and um it makes Im your image look more beautiful and more natural and more professional so let me just quickly show you the before and after of what i just did for this image so you can see the effect of micro dodge and burn So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after of what I just did just now. So in conclusion, just turn on your visual aid. If you want to dodge this place that are looking dark, make sure you uh, your dodge and just dodge it. And if you want to burn this part that are looking bright, let's say this part are looking bright, this part right here are looking a bit bright. Make sure your normal brush is selected. And your um, color focus color is set to white and just paint like that and if you feel you made a mistake you can just switch to your black brush to bring that back and if you feel you want to continue switch to your white brush to continue doing what you are doing like that okay guys so i'm done doing it um dodge our bones so let's see our final result so this is our before and these are after these are before and these are after you can see the massive change of the image this is the before and this is the after let me just turn off my visual aid so you can see the colored version 
so i'm just going to turn it off you can decide to delete it if you want to or you can decide to leave it if you want to but i'm just going to delete it because i feel i don't need it anymore so guys this is before our dodge and burn this is after our dodge and burn you can see how the skin is the lights are not really falling well on the skin and um that's why we just did we just brighten up the um dark part and um dark in dark part so that the image is going to look smooth and even so this is the before and this is the after so guys basically that's how you do your micro dodge and burn and I hope you learned something for this video i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative